operated at Springfield's Capitol Airport today. The bomber, first developed in 1939, was flown by the United States Air Force over Europe during World War II. One crew member says the B-24 was larger and faster than its predecessor, the B-17. Told Channel 3 Susan Cutsforth one major improvement was the wings. The Davis wing was the most unique and advanced wing that ever been put on a plane. And uh, the chief engineer of Consolidated said that the man who developed the wing was more of an artist than an engineer. Oh, it's a fabulous piece of equipment. Uh, you know, this one was rebuilt from, from junk that they found over in India and is practically a new airplane. Uh, I've read about it and I hope you get a chance at sometime while it's here to go through it. My grandfather, he was a squadron leader in World War II and full colonel, and he loves this kind of stuff. He talked about coming out, and I wanted to come. I thought it was interesting, and it's kind of nostalgic. Repairs to the B-24 Liberator began in 1985 by a private nonprofit corporation and totaled more than $1 million.